Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 8 West. It's Friday, and we are in a really good mood here. We've got a lot to tell you about for the weekend. Lots of ideas that are actually really, really fun. Mm, yeah. Things are heating up. I think I mean, so. Kind of. Kind of. In yeah. a different way. In a different way. Well, uh, here in West Michigan, we've got some heavy rain coming in this afternoon, and then snow tonight and for the weekend. But I do want to give a little bit of advice here, friendly advice. I know a lot of folks start spring break. A lot of the colleges, yeah. kind of this rolling spring mm -hmm. break that goes from March into April. My daughter Jacqueline came home from Ferris last night, and she's actually on spring break next week. Um, but mm -hmm. getting a lot of emails and phone calls from people who are traveling, driving to Florida today. There is a high risk, a high probability of severe weather, Kentucky, Tennessee, Indiana, oh, really? Ohio. If you're leaving and driving south, really pay careful attention. If you have to absolutely leave today, it's one of those days where you really want to pay careful attention to changing weather conditions because uh, Rachel is going to be one of those situations where tornadoes aren't just possible, they're probable, and there will mm. likely be a number of them. That's really, really scary. Yeah, very scary. Okay. And especially if you're traveling in an area you're not familiar, you don't know what radio stations to tune into, you don't know where to seek shelter. Uh, again, this is going to be one okay. of those really volatile days. That's a good heads up. Thanks. You know, we're all about giving the heads up and we wanted to tell you about something really cool happening in the Kalamazoo area today. Uh, Art Hop. It's a monthly program. Many of you have probably participated in it. Others, it might be a good idea too, but by the Art Council of Greater Kalamazoo, it starts tonight at 5. Something that happens four times a year, partners with downtown retail and business community. I've attended something like this out in California. Ah. Didn't realize we had this here, and I hear it's extremely popular. Well, it sounds like a super great opportunity because it involves those businesses, mm -hmm. the restaurants, and the art world. Nice. Like a celebration. Yeah. <laughs> of all things. Yeah. Really great exposure to maybe something, let's say you go to a restaurant like Food Dance that you love, which is mm -hmm. really, really good, oh, yeah. and then pop over to a place that you've never discovered before. Right. It's fantastic. So it happens four times a year, the first Friday of March, and then it extends into, uh, what is it, June, October, and December. Yeah. So nice as the seasons change oh, yeah. in West Michigan. You can experience and that as the here. art changes because every yes. season, you know, there are different statements, different exhibitions, and different uh, works that you can see. Yeah, I love that. Well, I was thinking, Terry, about doing some uh, cooking for the St. Patrick's holiday that's coming up two weeks from tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So, I'm kind of getting ideas. I was online, and uh, my search for a good Irish recipe actually turned into some trivia. Really? Okay. <laughs> I thought that our viewers and you might actually like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have some pictures of some Irish food. Okay. That I wanted to Ooh. maybe inspire. This is called Champ or Poundies. Okay. You have any idea what this is? It looks like mashed potatoes and yes. maybe some green onion. Yeah, green onion with a kind of a well or a lake of butter. Oh. You're supposed to eat them or the Irish oh. eat it from the outside and you take it and you dip oh. the potatoes. I love in that. The that sounds delicious. Like a number one dish as oh. far as the Irish are concerned. Uh, yeah, okay, two, two of my favorite foods, potatoes and cabbage. So I swear <laughs> I must be part Irish. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Okay, so this next one really really straightforward this is an Ooh, irish stew yum it's made with lamb or mutton okay which is kind of like lamb a domestic lamb potatoes oh. onions oh carrots. it looks like, comfort, your own. looks like comfort food yeah <laughs> it's like something you throw in the crock pot maybe yeah. delicious mm -hmm. so Sounds another wonderful. option yeah if you're looking to do something and then something called bangers oh okay sounds like a rock group it does yes i know okay this is bangers Oh, sausages, right? <laughs> or hot sausages. dogs? Sausages, yeah. yeah. They're called bangers in England and Ireland. Traditionally made with pork, although beef bangers are really common, too. Ah. And so you can actually do the bangers and the mashed potatoes, too. Wow. That's really popular. Yeah, that but looks yeah. delicious. And then Guinness, of course. Yes. I think that's one that I've maybe sampled the most. Mm -hmm. I'm not really a dark beer drinker, but for the holiday. Once a year. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. two weeks from tomorrow. We wanted to plant some seeds if you're looking to do some Irish cuisine yes, for the upcoming exactly. holiday. Well, you know, and, and last year we had uh, green beer tasting in here. I think you were expecting, and so you couldn't Quite participate. Yeah, so she couldn't participate. Things so this year, this year people. Exactly. We're going to have a party. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have some great music. We've got some good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Our, St. Patrick's Station. Are we planning ahead? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, we have a, this is a bitter 
a sweet day for those of us it here is. at 8 West. And Wood TV, one of the uh, the ladies who has really been inspirational and uh, responsible for so much of the creative design look, the overall look we have yeah. here uh, at Wood TV. It, today is her last day. Mm -hmm. Amanda Rulofs, and this is her husband, Dan, as well. She's been with the station for 17 years, and Amanda is our art director, really created the look that you see, the graphics, everything are set for 8 West, and also the graphics that you see for Wood TV, mm -hmm. our news product over the years. She's an award-winning graphics designer, and she's going out on her own. We're so <laughs> happy for her, first off, right? but sad inside, too. Her passion is design, and obviously you can see the wonderful taste she has coming up with, you know, so many of the creative concepts that we use here at Wood TV. So Amanda's starting her own design company, something that she's really done sort of on the side for mm -hmm. many, many years, and so uh, we wish her the best of luck. And I loved when I had the opportunity, I know we're both super good friends with Amanda, when I sat down uh, to talk mm -hmm. to her kind of about how she arrived at this decision, I found it really inspirational because she said, I realized that if I'm going to start a new chapter in my life, you know, she's my age, we're in our mm -hmm. late 40s, um, she said, I realize I have to start turning the pages to make that chapter, that next chapter open for me. So mm -hmm. we miss you, we will miss your style and your design elements, but we'll still have you on speed dial. Yes, we will, and we plan to have her on 8 West in the future, yes, exactly. too. Exactly. So we'll keep you posted on that, and we're very excited about that aspect of Amanda leaving. So mm -hmm. uh, we love you, miss you. Congratulations. It is right. Friday and we've got a lot coming up in this hour. We'll find out how we fared against our <laughs> movie guy, Aaron Lafferty, for our Oscar picks. Mm -hmm, that's right. And if you haven't seen some of the movies yet, he's going to let us know where they can be seen, including one that's now getting wider release after its success at the Academy yeah. Awards. Yeah, very cool. Then we're talking about fashion. Fab finds for the entire family that won't drain your wallet. Meyer is here today with us to show us some of their great spring ideas. And a big day in Grand Rapids, another hint that warmer weather is going to be here very soon. John Balzoo opens. It is one of Miranda's <laughs> favorite fun ideas for the weekend. This is good. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm excited about that. It's going to be fun for you. I know you love to take Coco to the zoo now that she's three. Each year, things. Every year things different. change, mm -hmm. and they notice things, and they're able to do different things, and so it's very excited to, exciting to go back and yeah. re-experience those things. Fantastic.